Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, out here on a five acre property in Arcadia, which is the town directly east of Sarasota. I favor this place, this area heavily. I think that is like the next up and coming spot. It's an old cattle town, a lot of old history, downtown. They've got buildings from the 1800s. I mean, old saloons, it's just been redone. It's a great place to get lunch in the afternoon. It's, it's just a really, really nice place. This is five acres, maybe nine miles away from downtown. And uh, and there's some great properties downtown that are like half acre to an acre, um, 3,000, 4,000 square foot Victorian style. You know, homes built in 1910, really, really neat, neat uh, property. So I'm doing some land clearing here for this client. They just purchased this place. It was originally a barn. I want to show you what's possible, particularly out in, in Arcadia. Uh, this is DeSoto County as opposed to Sarasota County. You, you get a little bit more freedom as far as what it is that you can build permit wise. Uh, you're working with a smaller permitting department and that is very helpful. So this was a barn with a carport and they just constructed this room underneath this carport i was here doing some driveway work uh, for the client they were spray in, in insulating that just to keep it cooler and uh, they were just about to pour the concrete pad so they poured the concrete pad added on to it and this is a super cute barn home inside there i mean it is really really great we're just now working on the driveway and, and uh, putting in gravel and all, all those things. At the end of a road, um, off of State Road 72, which is Clark Road. So in Sarasota, when you go east of the interstate, that's where you're gonna find your landed acreage. And in my opinion, there are really only two roads to consider, and that is Clark Road, exit 205, or Fruitville Road, exit 210. Now there is an exit in between those two, but it doesn't go far east. It only goes like four miles east and then kind of dead ends into a wilderness area. Uh, so the Clark Road side, State Road 72 has always been my favorite, favorite side. I just, I just like the intersections there better. I like the road better. It's a straight shot to the beach. I have lived on the east side of Fruitville. I have lived on the east side of Clark Road. I just favor the Clark Road side. So something like this in, in, in DeSoto County is going to be probably 25 to 30 percent cheaper if not more depending on what you find a lot of the homes in this area are all five acres some of them have uh, have the double wide mobile homes on them a lot of them are being removed so those homes were there a long time ago and people are building like like this particular client they're building a house inside of that old barn they're leaving room uh, for a potential residence elsewhere on the property they don't really know we're expanding this road all the way back and so they'll be able to enjoy all the way back to on their five acres. It's basically just a rectangle. Um, but DeSoto County, right? I mean, right at the edge of Sarasota County, literally the next town over. Something to think through. I know Sarah has done quite a bit of showings over this way, more so in uh, this year than any other year. And every time I'm out, out here, and we, we're out here pretty often because it's really only 24 miles from our house. So for me to go to the beach from our house is about 14 miles. For me to come here is 24 miles. So it's, it's maybe another 10 minutes in the car. Uh, it's just a great town. There's just, there's everything that you would want. You've got your Walmart, you've got Chili's, you've got all those things in addition to your mom and pops, your restaurants, like all those type of things. A lot of history. There's a really neat river kind of creek. A lot of airboat traffic kind of comes up and down that. A lot of flats boat activity. It does go to the Gulf, but it is quite a ride. It's not something that you're going to take like a 27 foot twin, twin outboard, you know, center console down by any means. It's definitely for flats boats, airboats, kayaks, canoes, things like that. But it goes right through here. They just got done building a brand new boat ramp out there. And it is, and there's a train, there's a, there's a train tracks that go right through there. Uh, it is just a really, really nice area. And every time I'm out here, we're always kind of scoping the properties and we're like, you know, maybe we'll find 25 or 30 acres. I'm always looking for like that one big find out here because this is an area that I am definitely have my eye on because uh, it's just a little bit cheaper than Sarasota, a little bit, a little bit more permitting freedom as I alluded to earlier. And uh, it's a little quieter, less population certainly less traffic more country um, but still internet 
phone services work fine you know all those type of things decent fire department it's just a smaller town that has a lot more uh time to develop uh than sarasota sarasota is getting to that spot where the acreage properties are in the neighborhoods that are going to exist are basically there there's a couple cow fields left where they'll do some future neighborhoods in a few years from now but uh besides one ranch left in sarasota that it is developed uh as far as the landed acreage side and it seems like they're going to put in you know the the builder style um quarter acre lot type of home site so any five acre plus homes in the sarasota area are are existing and, and what's there is what's there uh, but out here in desoto there's quite a bit of uh of land left to be developed. Uh, there's a lot of areas where you can find 50, 100, 200, 400 acres. So there's a lot of that stuff. And uh, of my friends, guys that are uh, you know, close to my age group, this has been a favorite for them. I actually had a neighbor of mine that I used to live on the east side of Fruitville with. She lived behind me. She moved out here and bought herself a place out here about three or four years ago. So it is a quite a peaceful little spot something to definitely look at we'll link to some properties below and give you an idea on uh, what can be found out here in desoto county in arcadia which i think is an absolute hidden gem so until the next video we'll see you down in the comments and as always reach out to sarah name and email phone number all that stuff down there in the bottom as well so go ahead and click on that if you're interested in a particular property talk to you later